If you have a date property in Notion and you have a timeline view, whether it be for your projects, your tasks, your sprints, or whatever database you have, you can now use dynamic date shifting based on the dependencies that you have in your Notion database. And that's a new feature that has been released in the past few days, silently by Notion. And this is part in this grand scheme of things of the new features that are really optimized for the project management use case of Notion. So here is a project database, and you can see there is a timeline view. I can visualize here already some dependencies going on here. And whenever you have a timeline view in Notion, which you can create from layout, timeline, then you can select what date you want to use or dates you want to use for displaying the different pages on that timeline view. And in this case, we're using a date property that you can see if I were to open a project. That is a date property and we use start, selecting the start date and then toggling on end date and selecting the end date. And that's one way of using one date property and a date range that can be useful for projects or sprints. And these endeavors that require a time frame as opposed to a due date, like it could be useful for tasks instead. But there's also an option to have two separate dates where one date could be called start date and the second date property could be called end date. If you want to make things easier for your users, potentially that's one way of tackling that. And either way, you can select a timeline view and you can set either one date property to display those or you can set separate start and end date properties. But the new feature is regarding dependencies. Dependencies are a useful feature, especially in complex project management, where you can specify which project depends on which one. So if you have sequential projects and you can't start one project before a previous project ends, and that's what dependencies are for. You can visualize dependencies on a timeline view when you activate them from the three dots here, dependencies, and you can turn them on. And you can visualize them on a timeline view just like this, where you will see in this case, I can't start sample project user education unless sample project performance is finished because there is a dependency between those two. However, that is only a visual representation of the dependency. There is nothing really stopping users in Notion from working on this project or editing any properties or the page content. Right now, there is a new feature regarding dependencies that is under dependencies. And you can see here, it is called automatic date shifting. So here on this tab, we can go to advanced settings and the property will be is blocking. So we need to select that. And then we need to select set as default. And that unlocks this view on the dependencies tab that enables us to define if you want to shift only when the dates overlap between dependent projects in this case, if you want to shift and maintain time between projects, so the same time lag, or if you do not want to automatically shift dates when they change. We can also avoid weekends here. So by default, it's going to be do not shift. But let's try these options here. Let's do shift only when dates overlap. And we want to avoid weekends as well. So let's see. Let's change this date here. So I'm going to change it like that. And you can see that the sample project performance was automatically shifted because those dates were overlapping. So again, if I go here, for example, and this product is shifted like that, you can see the arrow turns red visually. And after I release the drag and drop, this product will be shifted forward to make sure that the dates do not overlap. And the next project or the dependent project will start right the day after the end of this one, not counting weekends. So you can see if we open product performance, the end date of this product is June 13th with the new shifting date that I did. And the beginning of sample project is June 14th. That is a Wednesday. And that's how the date shifting behavior of the first option or dependencies works. The second shifting behavior is to shift and maintain time between projects. So. Let's go back to the original configuration and we open dependencies and select the second option, 
shift and maintain time between projects. We want to avoid weekends this time as well. And if we shift this project performance like that, you will see the sample project user education that is dependent on sample project performance will be shifted automatically. And the lag time between those projects, meaning how many days there are between these two projects, is going to remain exactly the same once the date is shifted forward. And that's how things work and how the new dependencies feature can allow you to automatically shift dates. This can be especially useful for project management. It can be especially useful for task management, I would argue, when especially if you're working on a team and you need to make sure that there is clear accountability and the dates are kept aligned with the start and the end date of the project. This is not a completely automated feature yet, but you can set it up on databases natively in Notion, and that can be a good improvement compared to what we had until a few days ago when dependencies were static and only visual, but there were no date shifting behavior natively within Notion. However, to get more advanced shifting behaviors, for example, shifting all the tasks depending on the end date of a project that is changed, that still requires using the Notion API and automation to ensure that you can actually programmatically make that happen without too much overhead of manual work. And that is it for this new feature in Notion that can enhance your project management capabilities within the platform. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. You will find links in the description to learn more about this feature and more templates and Notion resources. Thanks for watching for now and see you soon.